Hey, welcome back to Winter Survival. In this one, I'm hoping to make some serious progression in the story, more than I did in the last one anyways. So I'm just over here, checking out this last little area of this corner of the map that I haven't been to yet. And then, um, if there's nothing here, as far as progressing the story, then I know it's back over towards where the, um, the guy with the parachute and that was. So after this, I will head over that way. Nice a bandage and all that stuff. Meaty Pete. Tanning solution, I imagine that's for leather. And nails and scrap, take all that stuff. Nice, more food. I'll take it. Oh, wolves over there. I think I'll just run off this way. I think I've been over this way before, over to my left here, but uh, I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss anything. I believe this is the cliff that looks over the little valley below where the bridge collapsed. Yeah, there's the bridge just over there, so. This looks like this is the little rabbit area. I've seen quite a few over here. I'm going to have to start killing them eventually, I imagine. The guy was a little delayed there, but tried to see if I could hit the bird. Yeah, so if there's nothing over here, I'm pretty sure it's going to be over by the uh, parachute area. Or at least the place over towards where I have to cl uh, cross the log to get there. Whoops. Well, I gotta go do my inventory and stuff anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that I get wet anyway, so I'll just take care of that right away. My teeth are chattering. I can't wait for when I can make some better gear so I'm not cold all the time. It's good to be warm. Because even without getting wet, I can't stay out there very long. And doing any of that stuff, I believe, is all locked behind the story, so that makes getting all this stuff done even more important. But before my guy gets totally exhausted, I think I'll sleep through the night. I hope I put enough wood in the fire that it's still going when I wake up, but we'll see. No, I didn't. So I'll just fire this up, get warm, and then head back out.
Okay, so I'm gonna go find something new or die trying, one of the two. As I'm running, I'm just kind of like looking around for a wolf, but hopefully I don't miss it and run right into it, but we will see. Yeah, I think over just to the right is where I kind of like entered this area. And yeah, there's something over there. It looks like a little house. I don't think I see any wolves. Nothing obvious anyways. Almost looked like there might have been a little den there, but didn't see a wolf. Adventurer's Journal, page 6. Oh, it looks like Mike or somebody was bleeding. Glue stick. I think I saw that for something, but I forget what. Oh. Yeah, they were in that den. I'm just running. I wanted to check behind that house. Come on. I thought I could jump up there. I wanted to check behind that house, but I'll have to come back and do that another day. Hopefully when they're in their den again. I think I can lose them here. Yeah, thank God. I think there was more than one, so... One I'll try and fight. More than one. Run. Oh, new cave here too. Two for two so far. But I'm just going to throw down a fire. Warm up and see if there's anything I can cook. Kind of place that down ugly. Well, I think I'll eat that one and I'll get the other one cooking. And I think I'm going to play this long enough to get two episodes because I'm going to go visit my sister at her cabin on Saturday and Sunday. So I'll probably just throw these ones up for Saturday and Sunday. I wish I could have picked up that spear, but I think that might be what I need that glue for is for making the thing to carry the spears. So I'll put out two in a row. I usually don't do that very often. Nice, more food. Cooking pots are pretty abundant. Nails and leather. Lock picking's pretty easy. Just move it around until they go up. It's pretty easy and fast to get to these places, so I'm not too concerned about not picking up everything. Drink some water after this. Hopefully I train myself. I usually press the right mouse button to drink and I end up pouring all my water out. So hopefully I don't screw that up too much more. Great success. Oh, looks like another cave here. I'm gonna light my torch in case it's occupied. But this is pretty good. I'm happy I found three new spots so far today. Oh yeah, there's wolves. The 
If I get myself cornered, I'm screwed. Keep backing up. Yeah, if you turn away, they come right at you. Nice. Gotta use a band-aid though. I'm glad they don't jump. Get the torch out in case there's another wolf. Well, whoever was bleeding sure was bleeding a lot. I'm making sure I take all the glue sticks I see. Lockpicks and rope and food, definitely. The gears and that I think I can come back for, in case that's just for the um, mine trolley. When I need to do that, when I get to that point, those will be easy to find. I still gotta remember where everything is as far as crafting goes. So I made myself a nice new torch. I should be safe for a while. More leather straps. And I just had to walk another 10 feet and there was a whole bunch of torches. Hold down the um, left mouse. I thought just swinging it did the same thing, but it looks like that works better. So I'll grab all these and hope that wolf buggered off. To me, that looks like that could be the advancement to the cave so I'm just gonna go back this other way and see what happens here oh yeah this is just that top part I saw from down there so grab this stuff and then I'll head back the other way Okay, let's head back and see if I go deeper into the cave or I work my way out. Oh, miss that battery. My flashlight goes dead pretty fast, so gotta grab every battery I see. I'm not gonna bother with the moss on the wall. Whenever I eat that, I get sick anyway. Oh, is that Mike? Mike! Okay, very nice. What's it gonna ask me to do next?
yeah, I feel like I've progressed so much more than I did in the entire last episode already. Yeah, I'm just going to plop down a fire, warm up. I don't want to get my conditions too out of control. And nice, I didn't pour the water out again. See a wolf over there. Where are you? This is pointless. We run around in circles like this. We'll never find each other. I know. Campfire. Huge one. That should get their attention. Okay, nice. A new um objective. I knew he was right there too. I don't think he's chasing me too hard. It looks like that bonfire thing might be towards the area that I was at earlier there with the rabbits. Oh yeah, there's a little shack that I saw at the start of the game that I couldn't get into, but now I have an axe, so I'm getting in. <laughs> Those spears lying around, they're just taunting me now. I wonder how much better they are for killing the wolves. Hopefully they're not super weak. Another cooking pot. Yeah, they're all over the place. Nice, another bandage. Wolf. Almost ran right into him. I will go the opposite way. I think I gotta get myself back home and warm up a bit. Definitely gotta dry off my clothes at the fire. I hope I only have to build one bonfire. Maybe that just indicates there's four spots, maybe? But to me, it looks like it has one main one highlighted, so maybe there's four over the course of the next few quests or something like that. But there's only one I can do at a time. So maybe doing one will take care of uh, this quest line, and then as I progress, the next ones will open up. Definitely nice adding logs to the fire instead of 4,000 sticks at a time. I'll eat one or so of those things. I just want to keep myself um, away from the bottom end of all my stats. Grab some sleep and then start this part in the day. 
Just going to spin this around and see if, I, see if I can sleep for 24 hours. Nope. Seven hours, good enough. Oh. There's a skeleton there. Yeah, that sucker's big. That was close. And what is that? That skeleton guy sitting there was the parachutist. The basement key? Oh. Finally get in the cellar. Hopefully that bear is long gone. What do we have here? I wonder if that bear stomping around made the um, key fall down from that top part. Oh, nice. Oh, I probably got to equip that snow. spear holder. I'm cold. Nice. Now I got some spears. Old map. Oh, now I can make the glue sticks. Another pot, it looks like. I don't have to be too thorough here because it's right in my basement, so... That almost looks like where the, um... Where the mine was. The, tro the trolley cart. So I slept, slept through the night. I can go see where this bonfire thing is. I do have to grab some more water, I think. Try and do it without getting soaking wet. Yeah, that's good. I managed not to step in the water. Yeah, it looks like this bonfire thing is right in the area of the rabbits. No wolves so far, knock on wood. I wonder how much stuff I'm going to have to gather for this. Good enough. Stones, logs, looks like tinder. Just noticed some more benches there I can make. So I'll make some of this tinder with what I got. Well, still a ways to go. I'll run around and grab some of this stuff. Quickly get 
into a cave or shelter. <laughs> Well, there's a little cutout in the rock over here. I'll see if that works. Sounds like my heartbeat and that's calmed down. My guy did pick the weirdest time to start having a panic attack though. Grab some of this. Yeah, probably the least dangerous spot I've been in all day here. and That's when I had to run away. I have a feeling I'm going to regret running past all those rocks I've seen. Medical herb. Need those to make uh, band-aids. Bandages, sorry. I should start gathering those. Chop down a tree. So I'm just going to loot this, I'm going to get myself more under control here, and then I'll probably wrap this one up and I will pick it up again in the next one. So anyways, thank you very much for watching, hope you have a great day and take care.